Here I have two rubber bands which are linked together one through the other um, and they haven't been cut in half like this and glued back together again they're actually one solid band all the way around and this one's also a solid band all the way around and I'll try to explain how you can make these and I'm going to use a wristband like this one as a demonstration okay so you take a wristband like this or well an elastic I use number 32 rubber bands or elastics to make these but um I wouldn't recommend using number 32 because you are going to need to make two cuts that um, where you cut the width of the rubber band not not this part here but the actual thickness of the band and you're going to need to cut that twice so what you have to do is you make one slit in the middle of the band and another slit and you twist it 180 degrees like that and with the space in between that slit you need to cut a diagonal so that space is divided up between two parts um, it's really hard to explain and but when you're done it looks like a um, like a figure eight kind of shape so you have two separate pieces like a back and a front and it's got a diagonal slit through it so you do that twice you do that once on the rubber band and then somewhere else on the rubber band and when you're done cutting you cut all the way around the circumference of the band and when you're done that you'll end up with what looks like this which is two halves of the original band one trapped inside the other so this is just half of this two halves of this and one is linked through the other because it became inverted the way you cut it. I'll try to show a close up of how the cut looks. Just like that. Um, so you need to make two cuts like this. And it cuts, you cut the thickness of the band as well. So it needs to be fairly thick. But these haven't been glued together and they're a solid structure all the way th all the way through so solid through solid and when you're done you can make rubber bands like this one also I forgot to mention that if y if you make two slits like I showed you the figure eight slits and um, you'll end up with two rubber bands that are linked together but if you make three slits three times then you end up with one big rubber band which has a um, it has a knot through it so it's a knotted rubber band but it's a solid band with a knot um, I have an example right here so that's a solid band with a knot tied into that band and that's just by making um, three slits rather than two so two you get the linked rubber bands and three slits you get a knotted rubber band um, good luck and I hope you can try it and, and that it works out for you